occasional motorcycle series and we've got an absolute gorgeous gem here in fact we've got a series of them this is the record breaking in Australia MV Augusta dearest ever sold at auction 750s in an absolute immaculate condition has a full history it went back to the UK and around $151,000 750s chain drive as they originally came out when Count Augusta made them and then Magni put in the chain conversion on them and the reason that the Count didn't bring them out with chain drive was very very simple he didn't want them to beat the bikes at the factory uh, the ones at Agostini and that were racing Giacomo there um, was probably their most famous rider and of course on the tank here you know that that's the number of championships that they've won there this particular bike's done since restoration 0.6 of a miles. It's got miles per hour on it. I thought it might be kilometres, but it's actually miles per hour. Gorgeous red seat here, bump seat at the rear, and four exhaust pipes out the back. And the thing that slowed them down, of course, was the shaft drive down there. Four cylinder motor, double overhead cam, open carby throats on it. bit of work of art. I um, must admit I haven't ridden this one but I regularly ride the triple saunders. Beautiful bikes. Uh, of course there are replicas. This is an original. Uh, black, no, K. KMV in the UK. They've made uh, 350 triples, 500 triples. I've seen those at Alton Park and uh, different places there. Beautiful bikes but reproduction. This is the original. Look at that lovely twin leading shoe on brake on the front of it. This bike's in absolute immaculate condition. And it's certainly worth looking at. So it's something you don't see very often. It wasn't a lot of made around the world and this one's absolute mint condition. So hit the like button, tell us about MV Augustus you know whether they be the older ones, the racing triples, or whether in fact uh, they might be the latest model Brutales. But um, MV's had a very up and down history from the count. It's been through the Costellani family. It was owned by Harley Davidson at one stage there. Uh, they still made at Barisi in Italy. And um, then it went to a Russian owner. Now it's gone to um, KTM. So, Always a bike for the enthusiast, a bike for the man. Well, there was a few ladies. Um, one of Ago's girlfriends rode one, but uh, usually for the enthusiast. I hope this one just doesn't sit in a museum. But isn't it gorgeous? I thought we'd let you have a look at it. It's not often that one ever comes on the market, and congratulations to Donnington's, who got the Australian record price for an MV Augusta, $151,000 for this bike. So congratulations to the owner. We hope he enjoys it. And more importantly, we hope to see it out in the road or a rally somewhere. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tell us about any MV Augustas you know.